Hello everybody, I'm Kushan, and welcome to the stream. Tonight I am going to be playing Command Chains of War, the brand new, just released uh, DLC for Command. Um, it does come, I should probably note in case anybody's missed it, it does come with a campaign if you want to play through that. Um, but I'm just going to be playing uh, single scenarios as we go through, and I'm just going to start with Scenario 1 and basically work my way through the whole set of 16 scenarios. Of course, not all tonight. <clears throat> and let's go ahead and get started. Um, Alright, so our briefing. Your objectives are the destruction of 15 pre-planned targets threading our island garrisons, followed by ambushing North Korean land and sea assets as they sortie to challenge our forces. Should be noted we are playing as the South Koreans. Um, ensure maximum destruction for minimum losses to achieve desired punitive effort effect. Expect pop-up threats from artillery missiles as they emerge from hidden tunnels in the hills. Airspace likely to be bigger as contested by DPRK air forces. We have nine hours. Um, so we have 15 targets that threaten the Yao Piang and Beiyang Island garrisons. These include 130 millimeter artillery batteries and ammo dumps and KN-101 service to surface missile batteries. And they're supporting radars. They've been marked as targets on our tactical map. Um, let's see. Um, expect the deep area to counterattack as they are able. So it doesn't sound like we are going to get a concerted. Looks like we'll get probably a, a stream of uh, counterattacks. Um, let's see. The current deep area air threat includes mostly obsolete SA2, SA3s, MiG-21s, fish beds. F6A Farmers, F5A Frescoes, and MiG-23 MLs. Um, and Pyongyang is defended by MiG-29Bs. And a KN-06, which I believe is the North Korean version of the S-300. Um, so, naval bases. What are our assets? So we've got 42 F-15K Strike Eagles. Um, for E-737 E737 Wedgetail AEW aircraft, um, Block Six or Block 52 F-16s, more Block 52 F-16s, um, some Orion patrol aircraft, a couple Global Hawks, some Apaches, <clears throat> um, FA-50 Golden Eagles. I'm not sure what those are. Um, 155 millimeter thunder and spike in LOS sections. I think the spike in LOS is a, um, I know it's a missile. I can't remember, uh, who actually, uh, who actually, uh, makes it though. Uh, that's an Israeli missile. And we have a... Quite a few ships out at sea and a couple of SSKs. With that, let's go ahead and get started. Begin scenario. Should be noted, I think this is new in this patch, or maybe it was new in the last one, um, where these real realism options are only set in the editor and can't be modified during play anymore. Okay, so what do we got? Okay, so let's go ahead and hit start for a second. Hit pause. All right, there's our targets. So we've got our submarines off the west coast. Um, looks like guarding the general exit paths from those two naval bases. Um, there's our coastal artillery targets, coastal radars. KN-101. Sixty nautical mile range. Um, let's see. Artillery munitions depot. 
There's a Barlock radar. Some more coastal artillery. <coughs> um, all right, so it looks like everything's kind of uh, clustered up. And what about our forces? Um, all right, so first things first. So Apaches with Hellfires. Let's see, what is their range? And Hellfire 2, long range. So they have a strike radius of 216 nautical miles. Wow, that's not too bad, actually. Um, let's go and see. So where can they strike? So 260. Wow, they can actually pretty much hit everything. and They're within radius of everything over here. Nice. Let's see. And there's our block 52. So we've got some armed with harms, Mavericks, GBU 12s. I believe those are 500 pound bombs. Yep. Um, GBU 10s. Two thousand pounders, okay. So we got a good mix of everything. Probably be launching our SCAD aircraft first. And what up? <coughs> Sorry. <coughs> um, allergies are uh, bugging me a little tonight. So we've got the United States uh, Thad battery. Um, two things on. Um, okay, air to air. Alright, so what's the F-850? Okay. And what are these configured for? These are configured mainly for ground attack, a couple for air to air with Sidewinders. The Sidewinders have a 10 nautical mile range. That's well, that's probably equal to about what the North Koreans have. Um, let's see. All right, so lots of Strike Eagles, AGM 84K Slammers, some configured for SEAD Strike, the Taurus. Nice guided weapon, power targets, nice air launch, basically an air launch cruise missile, 180 nautical mile range. Um, what else do we got here? Ah, Heathrow's GBU-28s, nice 4,700 pound penetrators. Okay, so we don't seem to actually have a whole lot of air-to-air, -air, actually. That's interesting. Unless I'm missing something. Here's our patches, so... Doesn't really look like we have a whole lot of air-to-air -air assets, so this could be interesting. Um, I think I already checked this one, didn't I? Yep, that's our Orion's... So where's our... I didn't see our wedge tails though. Unless I'm. Wouldn't be the first time I've been blind and haven't. Oh, there's there's our wedge tails. Okay. So first things first, and we have three out of four available. Um. Okay. So first things first, let's go ahead and get our air-to-air -air assets airborne. I'm going to set control routes for our AEW. Um, what's their range? Touch tail, 350 nautical miles. So if we put it right here in the middle of the country, it should give us plenty of coverage basically into 
the Chinese uh, North Korean border area. So perfect. And it'll let us keep it kind of safe. Um, speaking of, what do we have? So we got some buildings. I'm assuming that's where Saul is. Yep. Got to protect those. Green pine. I'm assuming early warning radar. The only time not to come out range isn't that bad. Okay. Interesting, is there a reason it's, oh. You wanna just deselect all reference points. Support. Where's our wedge tails? There we go. Do you want one third rule on? Um, let's go to mission doctrine. We do want radars active. I doubt they have any OECM, but might as well. Um, weapons tight. Doesn't matter. They're unarmed. All right. Looks good. So let's go ahead and get that taken care of. The orbit there. And let's go ahead and get some air to air up. And we'll probably start, I think we'll start here by uh, going after their air defenses a little bit. Let's see. Where was that? K101. K201. Yep. KN101. Oh, I'm sorry, that's surface to surface missile. So that's target. I'm not seeing a whole lot of SAM systems. I'm seeing a lot of early warning radar. It's got that SA2. Hmm. Noticing a whole lot less SAMs than I did in uh than during my playthrough of Korean Missile Crisis, that's for sure. Um, let's see, do we know where that Let's see, SA-3, SA-3, SA-2, I am looking for that. I must not have a fix on it. I was hoping we'd get a fix on the uh, S-300 battery. All right, so SA-2s, we should hopefully not, now we're gonna stray a little bit into their firing range when we go after uh, the dock if we go after the dogs, but we should be okay at staying out of their range. Um, but we do want to kill that SA-2. That'll let us at least operate more freely in this area, assuming that there's nothing else. All right, so first things first. Arms. I don't really like them. Oh, reserve available, nice. This is why you should read, kids. Um, let's go ahead, and I think I'm going to arm. I'm going to go ahead and rearm them. All right, I'm going to go ahead and arm them for air to air AMRAM heavy. It'll be about three hours. What stocks of AMRAMs? Like, we should have plenty of AMRAMs. Let's go ahead and rearm those. All right, so they'll take about three hours to rearm. Let's see, did I miss any at my other air base? Maintenance unavailable. All right, well. So 
we've got eight currently ready to go. I'm going to launch flights at two, at least to start out here. Um, let's go ahead and use the two second time compression. All right, so we have contact surface combatants. Oh, I forgot we have Nibby. So let's go ahead and set our fleet. We'll just have them go to cruise. <coughs> um, let's see, didn't even take a look at these. Um, check a setting I think something uh, forgot to check something yep I did much better um, all right so what do we got we have the South Korean version of the Arleigh Burke um, a guided missile frigate a patrol or another guided missile frigate and a couple other frigates out forward screening and then what do we have up here uh, some fast guided missile patrol craft okay so we're just gonna have our task group here they're gonna move north at cruise I'm going to go ahead and just group this task force. And we'll have them move north as well. We're just going to have them go to creep, though. Perfect. All right. And then subs. We're just going to have them go to just over the layer. That's awfully shallow. Yeah. We'll just have them creep along right here just above the layer. Um, is my voice barely audible? Sorry about that, guys. Is that better? And we have a contact. Okay, so creep just over the layer. No. Yeah, we don't want that. Let's go down to... We're just going to put these guys at minus 50 feet and stay there. This is an awfully shallow water. Alright, much better. So we'll all hang out around 50 feet. Fighters are up. Let's go ahead and just move them north. They'll just hang out at, Reu at Reuter. 
actually have them go to cruise. All right, what do we got? We got, there's the frigate. All right, so first things first, that SAM battery needs to go. Kind of tempted to send my Apaches in after it. I'm getting another surface contact. Yeah, the twenty dollars will get you just the uh, the sixteen chains of war scenarios, <coughs> unless you already own uh, Northern Inferno or the base game. Uh, okay, so where was I? So there's our F sixteen flight. I should, I guess, get a patrol. Naval patrol up. All right. So I'm going to send. I'm going to send three of my. Harm equipped F 16s. And we'll have. This group kind of escort them in. Why are they going so quick? Slow down, guys. All right, so firming up some bearings. Is there an island over here? Huh. What are those just, is there an island I'm missing over here? Okay, that's strange. Seems we've got like two things of AAA just sitting up. All right, so what's gonna be the easiest way for us to hit? Um, we should probably kill that Barlock radar too. So I'm gonna go ahead and just launch. All six of my. If we have anything left. So goal of this strike is going to be to kill that SA-2. All right, so getting some mobile sets. Goal of this strike is going to be kill that SA-2 and hopefully that Barlock and hopefully that Tin Shield radar. Although that SA-2 being the more critical target here. All right, so we want you guys to... Stay at about 12,000 feet, stay at loiter. We're just going to have them take that route. Let's go across their bearings. All right, so what do we got? Mobile. Well, I guess I, where I was going, Gunner, was that these two, their ambiguity area, which I think is the red zone, is fairly fixed. So I'm a little curious why they're just kind of floating out there in the middle of the ocean. 
I mean, I get if they had the you know yellow box around it because that would indicate that they're still looking for bearing. 